Welcome to the office. Welcome back. How you doing? Good. Oh, come have a seat. Let's have a let's have a little conversation. Mama, you good there? Yep. Cool, because I think she's good now. Yeah. She don't need she don't need mama to hold her hand today, right? No. You don't need mama to hold your hand today. Because you first thing I want to know. We're just gonna recap just to briefly. Mama, why you bring Zoe here? Uh we were involved in a car accident and then two weeks following after the car accident, she decided to fall from our second story upstairs. So she felt it was pretty traumatic. Yes. Yes, okay. Nothing was broken. No. Just so the, teeth. She shattered eight the teeth. teeth. But teeth will teeth is better than a broken bone. Right. right. A, a leg or a spine. Absolutely. Or Okay, and we checked you yesterday. We gave you an adjustment. But I did say, to be safe, I said we should take an x-ray. And we have the x-rays today. But before we go over those, tell me how you did with your adjustment. Mm. Were you, did you feel any different? Yeah. What was different? So when I woke up today, I didn't have any pain in my neck. What? Nothing. No hurt. pain in the neck? Nothing hurt. Like, not right here. Or like, not right here. That pain that you had when you came in didn't hurt in this morning. How about your low back? Um, my lower back, it didn't hurt either. Good. Little sore, was it a little sore yesterday after the adjustment? Yeah. How about when you woke up today? Um, no. Did you ice? Mm -mm. Okay, I still need you to ice even if it doesn't hurt, please. For the next month, at okay. least at least I once. I thought ice was for dad. I'm sorry. Good, good thing. And this is important. I want to share about ice and what is the function of ice. Doctor Gonstead had two secrets, Mom. Mm -hmm. One was ice for inflammation, and two was check the thyroid for overall body pain. And here's the thing with ice, and and people, a lot of people will say do heat, mm -hmm. and there's nothing wrong with heat. But if we're trying to reduce inflammation, the function of ice is you put ice on the area, right, that hurts. It causes a vasoconstriction of the capillary beds or the blood vessels, so it's holding stuff. And the therapeutic effect of ice is not when you have the ice on. <laughs> it's when you take it off, you get an immediate vasodilation of the capillary beds and it opens it up. So it gets the swelling out, it gets the waste products out, and then it gets the nutrition and hydration back in. Okay. And to keep it very simple, when you ice, it feels better. Okay? And it helps the healing a lot better. So whether it hurts or not in your case, just for two weeks. Okay? Not even a month. Two weeks. And if you ever get injured, slips, falls, you play hard. I know you do. Right? Always ice. And please, please, if you're falling and it's sore for more than a few hours, just tell your mom, mom, I fell. Okay, a lot of times the kids will forget. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned on our last case where he had, the six-year-old boy had multiple falls, I know I keep going back to that. And there's a reason. And it had sacral implications. In her case, we know she had those traumas and we didn't have any films and it's whatever the reasoning is so anyway we have the films i'd like to go over it okay. i'd like to explain a few things and uh mama you come over there with zoe please All right. and let's go over your x-rays okay this is you this is looking at you from behind zoe and i'm going to teach you a few things today okay you're okay standing there do mm -hmm. you don't want to sit mm -hmm. okay so this is your full body x-ray this is looking at you from behind. This is the right side. This is the left side. This is looking at you from the side. And the first thing I want to do is put your posture here. And you can see she sways back quite a bit. In her posture, this L5 should bisect 7 and 2 back here. And you can see she's off in terms of her upper body. She's very flexible also, right, Bum? Mm-hmm. And there are things we'll talk about for her to do this. And the number one thing is the slouching. Okay. 
Okay, so we want to get her either a learning stool, something like this, okay. or a can-do disc, and this disc will mimic like a gym ball or a gym ball that okay. she can sit on and practice every day. Okay, and we'll get more into that okay. uh, later. Okay, let's go over this x-ray. We'll come back to this one. This is, we have 24 bones that move in our spine, Zoe. But in your case, you have 29 bones that move. Those, there are five bones in the tailbone that become one at about age 32 or 34. So what I want to do first, before we get into this, let me show you your sacrum. And I want you to count with me the bones. This is her L5. This is S1. This is S2. This is S3, S4, S5. And these five bones, I'm going to show you on a big spine. Those are the bumps in the, in, in the tailbone. And these five segments become one big tailbone. So mama's is all fused. Mine's all, mine's all ossified and fused. Hers is not. So here's the thing that I, I've been talking about with these tailbone injuries. And she has the same thing. So let's go a little closer. And I want her to see. This is S1. S2. You see how it's open a little bit in the back there? This is clear through there. Now, there's a little bit of whitening here. Okay. S2. S3. This is the one that's off. Okay. S3. I want you to see it's open down here. Mm -hmm. Do you see that, Mom? Yeah. So, and where did we start yesterday? We started S3 on yeah. the left. On the left side. Okay. So, S3 is the ticket. Okay. S3 and then S2. Okay. Or, let's see what we find to do. But this okay. has to be sorted out. Okay. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. This gets sorted out, the rest of the body will come through. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go back to this x-ray now, and I want to show you lots more stuff. Okay, so here's now her foundation. This is the sacrum here, right? Those are the segments. This is the pelvis. And the next thing I want you to see is this. There is something here, Mom. You see that little line right there? Yes. That's S1, so that hasn't formed yet, fused okay. yet. And the reason I'm saying that, the clinical term would be a spina bifida, mm -hmm. but it's very, very mild. What I may do while she's here is just pump them together. Okay. Okay. Whether that heals it or not, I will say I've had a few cases that they actually came together. Okay. That's not my intent for her. But I'm pointing that out because when I push S1, it's going to be tender. Okay. Doesn't mean we adjust it. Okay. And now that I see that, I actually don't want to be on it if it came up to a judge. We would be on the side today. Okay. Okay? All right. So that's the sacrum. Now, from the sacrum, if we take the sacral line right there, we can see next is L5. L5 tilts slightly. Okay? And you can see how it tilts and it takes all these with it. Mm -hmm. Yes? And it takes all of it with it all the way to about L1. And then the next one that goes off is T12. T12 takes it. And these are, I believe, I'm just showing you. Now T12 takes all of this out, right? Right. right? So we have a, a kink in the upper back. But the kink in the upper back is a result of T12. I need you to see this, man. Let's, let's pray. T12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. All the way to T5. And then T4 goes the opposite way, okay? It's a wonky curve there. But it's a compensation is okay. what I'm trying to show you. It's not the cause of it. Okay. But T4 then takes the rest of the neck out. Okay? Okay. Now... The biggest thing here on this is going back to the foundation. And let's look at the numbers. And here's the good news. Whether it was corrected yesterday or not, doesn't matter. Okay. There's no rotation. Remember, we wanted to work a little bit on that rotation. There's no rotation in the pelvis, pel uh, in the sacrum. 
but it is still two millimeters down on that right side. Okay. Okay. Would have been interesting to know before, but yeah. who cares? Who cares? Yeah. It's That's okay. okay. It's okay. One and one, PI one EX one. Measure difference is two. If uh, maybe I'll bump it once, put it in place, measure difference, uh, actual difference will be one. Okay? So it's, it's measure difference, it's down two. We may just bring it up one. Okay. All right. And um, so we have left pelvis, but again, it all goes back to this sacrum S3 dropped on the right side. Let's go back here. Um, upper cervically, I do see C2 a little bit off. But again, what I'm trying to say is all of this stuff is coming from 4. So 4, 12, 5, and sacrum, left okay. pelvis. Those are the majors. Okay. Okay? Those are the fo that's the focus. Um, let's continue, please. On this, when we're looking at the side profile, I did say down here, L5 little bit off but I'm not concerned about that unless we fix this okay now we need to go up top these discs are all fantastic she's young enough as they should be and then this is the next stuff that she had going on you can see that this line doesn't line up here so her muscles are working off balance here and I can feel probably things that get tight and knotty in her back okay. little knots in her back and that's easy enough um, what you can do for her is just continuously be mindful of her posture okay okay that's it now let's look at the neck closely because there's some stuff going on there okay this is neutral this is extension and extension this one didn't go back did it no two two goes back a lot three goes back a lot four five six is open at the back okay now inflection two three four four, five, six levels out, seven goes back. Six is probably compensating. We need to work on the base of her neck. Okay. C7, maybe even T1, one of these, okay? Probably I would start on, I would do the base. So let's put it together now. Okay. C7, potential, T4, T12, L5, left pelvis, <laughs> sacrum, again, that could all change from just a sacrum adjustment. Okay. Okay? Okay. You good, Zoe? You ready? Mm -hmm. Mama, any questions on any of that? Nope. So, I'm glad we have that. We have a baseline. Okay. Okay. Let's see the butterfly effect Let's in see. action. <laughs> Let's do it. Did anything hurt from the adjustment yesterday? Mm. Did the adjustment hurt yesterday? A little yeah, bit? Yeah. What hurt? Um, when you were like pressing on these sides. Yeah. It was a lot tender. It was tender? Yeah. Okay. But you weren't scared of it, right? Mm -mm. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Sit up straight. Mama, if you want to come back here to okay. see, you're, you're welcome to. And let's see what we got. All right. Starting at the base of the neck. Scoot back a little more for me, please. And just sit whatever's natural for you, whatever's comfortable. Is that comfortable? Okay. A little different. Hmm. T4, left side. A little chatter in the neck today. I think T once we do T4, it should change a lot of it. T4. Good. Just a tiny bit. Four points down low. S3, maybe S2. Sit up straight, please. 
Mm-hmm. When I push on the right side here, do, is there any pain there? Does that hurt at all? Yeah. It hurts on the right side? Yeah. How about on the left side? Mm, not really. Not really? Okay. The left is that, so we don't need to do the pelvis right now, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's L5. Does that hurt? No. That one does? Yeah. That's the bifida, okay? That's two. That one hurt? Yeah. How about that one down there? Mm-hmm. We're still on S3, okay? We're still on S3. And we're gonna do it in a way to torque it to bring that side up today, okay? okay? So we gotta go a little deeper today. All right, head down, please. Scoot forward. Forward. Thank you. Palms there, hands up. Head down, please. One, two, three, You feel that one more or that one? That more? one. Head down, please. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, it's six. That one? That's the stomach. Seven. Six. I forgot to talk about the FIPS. Oh my goodness. You know what FIPS are? Come on back here, I need to show you the FIPS. Okay. Okay. So if we look at the side, see all this, all this stuff here? Yes. So all the, the, these black circles, dark matter, matter, and in the dark matter you have light matter, gray matter. And if we look here, let's do this one. Look. You see all this? Mm-hmm. All the dark matter? Yes. Dark matter. You see all that light matter and the dark matter in there mixed up? Yes. So these are little FIPS. Those are farts in progress. No. <laughs> I had to, sorry. <laughs> what it's telling me, it, it, it's digestion. Okay. okay. So if she's eating clean and all that. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Okay. And there's nothing I need to give her to change that. Okay. But back to the sacrum, and the control of the stomach starts at that six area. Okay. Okay? Okay. So you'll tell us what's different tomorrow okay. in her going to the bathroom. Gotcha. Okay? All right. Let's go back. Are we treating an x-ray or the patient? The patient. The patient says six. We got to do what the patient says. Okay. That one? Or that one? The one uh, that one, right? That's six. All right. All right. That's S1. That's tender. Yes? Mm-hmm. S2, tender. Mm-hmm. S3. Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. You ready for me? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Sound like my daughter said. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, and Dr. Rahim, what's yes, spinal bifida? Spinal bifida is non-union of the spinous. So during development, you can pass me that model right there behind you. Thank you. So what it is, is you have these lamina. These the, this is the back of the vertebrae, right? This is the vertebrae. And during development, these lamina f- fuse together and form the bump okay. on the back called the spinous process. Now, hers is just like that. Okay. It needs to touch. Okay, she's young enough. Okay. Um, and I could show you something you could do for her at home. Okay. okay. But that's what it is. It's not a severe case at all. I'm just pointing out a finding on an x-ray, okay? Gotcha. Um, there are more severe neurological things. Usually when you hear that, there's folic acid deficiency during pregnancy. Okay. That's what it is, okay? You ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I'm on S3, there, the bottom leg straight, please. And we're twerking. Up. Oh, yeah. Nice. That felt good. That felt good? All right. All right. Come on up. Walk it out. As Rumi say, walk it out, walk it out. Mm-hmm. What? 
Mm -hmm. Face down over here, please. That was pretty awesome. Face down. And for S1, I'm not adjusting it. I'm just going to do. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Squeezing them together. Guess what, Zoe? That's what we call the home run. Hold my hand when you come off the table, please. Okay, I guess not. Walk it out. Walk it out, deep breath in, walk it out. Ah. Walk on your toes, please. Walk on your heels. On your heels. I like it. How uh, you like it? Yep. Have a seat back over here. Scoop back. And the first thing is, sit up straight. Ah, mama. Mm. If she sits up straight. <laughs> what? You man. I'm just a bat cracker here in Larchmont. You are the man. I'm just the bat. But look what happens when she slouches. Slouch. Still straight. Ba 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 da bing ba da boom. Now sit up straight. Hmm. Does that hurt? No. That's S1. Does that hurt? No. Does that hurt? No. Tender at all? No. You're not just saying that on camera, right? No. All right, just want to make sure. You're not just saying that because you know you're getting cracked tomorrow too, right? I'm just kidding, you're getting checked tomorrow, okay? You're doing really good, so I'm really happy. I am so happy for you. S3, no pain? No. S1, no pain. On your back, please. That one right there. Yep. That one? No. Come and hold her leg, Mama. Okay. Ah. Hey, yes. This, you're going to hold the tibia like this. Face okay. face me, though. Face you, though. Okay. Hold both together, both hands together. And on three, you're going to lift up slowly. One, okay. two, three. Ow! And I got ya. You'll thank me later. Okay, it's done. It's done. It's done. I know. It's done. That was her old sprained ankle. A sprained ankle? Yes, ma'am. She's not telling you things. She play rough, and it's okay. What happened? Lisa. Ah, breathe. On your back, please. Zen. Breathe in through your nose. Zen. Bring your toes back. Relax. Relax them down. Your swelling is all gone now, Mama. No, you are healed. Stand up and walk, please. You know, I'm joking around a little bit. I'm just trying to make it fun for her. So. That should feel different when you walk now, Zoe. Do you feel that? Yeah. Feel better or it hurts? It's ready. Look. Look. Jeez. Look. <laughs> she want to run today. Come on back here. Last thing I want to do just to make sure sacrum is good. Have a seat. Scoot back. <sighs> Sit up straight. Just making sure. And back slowly towards me. Not your head, please. Keep your head straight. Back at, the, at my thumb. All the way back. 
All the way back. Pain? Nope. S2. Pain? Nope. S3. Pain? Nope. Mama! You're a man. Good job, lady. You're a man. You're a man. You're a man. Don't tell anybody, okay? Oh, no. They're going to be beating down my door. Yeah, too late, chicken bait. Ah! <laughs> you guys go have a wonderful day today, okay? Absolutely. You're all set with me. Okay. Have fun. Go play. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. So, do we need to stay until Thursday? Or you want... Mm. You can make another trip, though. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Because uh, I set it deep. Okay. Okay. I'd give her a couple of months. Okay. Okay. Unless you guys want to come back. Okay. But I don't see. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome.